Hello, hello, hello. I'm so happy to be back. <laughs> it's been too long. I don't think I've, whoops, sorry y'all. I'm carried away, Lindy. I don't think I've ever been out of my studio and off lives this long. And boy, did I miss y'all. I'm ready to get back to creating and having fun with y'all. And by the way, if you don't know, and I didn't say it already, I am Lindy Tate from Taterbuggin. And we love to do all kinds of things here. Hey, Opa and Regina. My friends are getting here and I'm so excited. Cindy, thank you. Hey, girl, you're doing so good. You went to the grocery store today. Wow. Hey, Betty. Oh, y'all got to get a hug from sweet Betty. It was so good to meet you in person. Oh, Janice, I have missed all of y'all so much. Hey, Mavis and Robin. Crazy Mom Creations from Long Island. Hey! I'm so happy you're here. Hi, Pat. There's Maureen. Oh, they're going by so fast. Y'all are getting here so fast. I'm so excited. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited. I've looked forward to this since Sunday night when I got home. Hey, Ellen and Sandra. Sandra. Sorry. Sorry. Hey, Patty. Right? Mr. T is on it, y'all. And he cleaned the house, too. This man should be cloned, right? Hey, Danielle. Hey, Brenda. Jermaine. Hello. Hey, Benita. There's Lori Lulu. Hey. Oh, I've, gosh, I've missed y'all. Thank you, Patty. We just had the greatest time. Hey, Darlene. Debbie! There's my travel partner. One of them. How you doing? Hey, Tony. Oh, thank you, Patty. Goodness. Hey, Miss Judy from the Crafty House is here. How are you doing, my friend? Oh, this is so fun. Um, Oklahoma treated me so well, Lisa. Oh, I'm just, my um, cup is filled all up again. My batteries are recharged, and uh, I am happy to be back. Hey, Stephanie girl, how you doing? I'm so happy to see you. We did, Tony. Hey, Linda. We just had, oh my goodness, we had so much fun. And I'm going to tell y'all, if you don't follow those Sparkle Ladies, the Sparkle Six and their friends, oh, you are missing out. And I'm telling you, um, I don't know how they do it. As sweet as and wonderful as they are online on their pages and everything, they are even more so in person. Those ladies are the real deal. Friends for life. They can't get rid of me now. I told them I'm very sorry, but um, they can't get rid of me. Hey, Beverly. Oh, go charge it, Susan. That's okay. I'm just glad you came in. Hey, Shauna. Hey, Wendy. Oh, this just makes me so happy. Yeah, they're fabulous ladies. Um, they're all beautiful inside and out. And then I got to meet um, some other creators that were there like me, just retreat ticket holders, and hug their necks and get to know them better in person. I got to meet some of my followers. I sat right next to Donna Wells to create the whole day long on... Friday. We just had a great time. Um, you follow them all, Lana. Yeah. Hey, Elizabeth. Hey, Leanne. Um, they're awesome. Can't, I, I, I hugged them every single day as many times as I could. Uh, so, okay. So, on with it. Hey, June. Mr. T, we realized, hey, y'all, it's November. Wake up. <laughs> Time to get y'all some Christmas kits out. Some kits that are year-round that you can um, use for gifts that might make good gifts. Um, so, we have our wheels spinning. I've got this one. I'll debut one that I'm extremely excited about on Friday and the Christmas event that I get to be in. And um, so, stay tuned. They're fun and we... I, we're, we, like I said, our wheels are turning and we're, we are creating. So today what we're going to do is finish out this kit. Let me show you what it is first. Carrie! Hey, girlfriend, I'm home. 
I'm home. Every time I posted while I was in Oklahoma City, Carrie kept telling me it was time for me to go home. I need to get on back home. And I just laughed. Hey, Lori Ann. Hey, Diane. Oh, thank you, Cindy. I don't have this in the shop yet in true Lindy fashion, but it'll be there tomorrow morning. We have tickets to the Orpheum tonight. So as soon as I finish here, we're headed to the Orpheum. Actually, we're going to get some dinner. And um, you did, Opa, <laughs> all the way up to your house. <laughs> Carrie, I missed you too, girlfriend. I really did. Hey, Becky. So, um, I, yeah, it's not in the shop yet, but it will be this the, tomorrow morning. Uh, we're putting it in there. I got, we, I got all excited, and I said, oh, I'm doing this today. Um, so, we're going to have this. This is the background right here. You're going to get this piece that goes right here. And then this little this little triangle goes on the back. How does this go? Like that. Mm. There it is. So it will sit just like this. It'll sit up on its own. This will be a shelf sitter. And I think we can finish it. You can finish that out in so many different ways. Hey, Tarita, how are you? Oh, Cindy, thank you for saying that. Thank you. Thank you, Billy Joe. I can't quit, I can't quit smiling because I'm just so happy to be with y'all. Yes, it's a church, Judy. Um, oh, thank you, Betty. Thank you so much. Oh, Lori. That Jennifer, I wanted to bring her home with me. Well, I wanted to bring them all home with me. They just fed my soul. Those ladies are amazing. And they worked so hard for us. Hey, Kathy. So, you get the gist. And start, I want your wheels to start spinning about how you're going to finish yours out. But I'm going to, we're going to put this together today. And I'm going to finish it out. And I told him that I wanted him to leave it, you know, he will, there are some kits we have, like Elizabeth will talk about working with them where he really planes it down, then sands it, so it's just so smooth. Um, but then there are some projects, Kim, we're birthday, almost birthday Twinkies. Yeah, mine's tomorrow. I think I remember you saying yours was the third. Thank you, staff girl. I can just see what you could do with this one. The six, you'll be 50. That's a big one, Danielle. That's a big one. My mom's is the eighth, so we'll have a day. Next Monday is our day together um, to go out, and we'll just shop and go to lunch. Um, so I told him I, I wanted him to leave this a little rough. I didn't want him to super sand the edges. See, there's some little cracks and crevices because I wanted this look, to look like a rustic church. In fact, I think I'm going to use this really, this side for the front of my church. And um, so look, the, see the back? There's one that's not sanded here. So that'll be the back. And this will be the way I put it together. But I wanted that. I wanted to see the grain. And I wanted it to be rustic. So... 17 days till your 54th. You're still a baby. Oh, thank you, Stephanie. You're so sweet. So I'm going to borrow his wood glue, and I've got my hot glue. Karen, today is your 77th birthday. Happy birthday. Message me on the Taylor Bugging page, and um, I'd love to gift you with one of my um, art classes. So head over there and just message me and tell me what what art class you'd like to have for your birthday. I will be in a little while. What what does that mean? Oh, Gail, I missed you this week. I thought you were going to be there. And I didn't see you. Let me see. Oh, and let me tell you. Did you see my shirt? I got this in Chris Hunter's boutique, Velvet Alley. When I saw this shirt, and it's got it's got little sparkles all over it too, but oh my goodness, look at my, oh, I love this shirt. And it just so happened I had just ordered from Shine. Um, hey, Becky, good to see you too. This, um, 
this pink. It's the pink in the van sweater. It's kind of a poncho type sweater and it's got faux fur around it. So this, that'll go over the top of this tonight. Today, Opa, I did. I did. You're so sweet. You are so sweet. Thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, we were so happy to meet Betty. Oh, I didn't know it was like this. This is interesting. See, I don't use wood glue a lot. I thought wood glue was kind of different than this. Okay. I want the wood glue to hold it, um, you know, a long-term hold. And then I, I need this to go on and uh, stick right now so we can play with it. Now, if you're doing this at home... Of course, you could um, just do your wood glue. Can y'all see? No. I want y'all to be able to see the kit, not me. Um, you put it together and let it dry overnight if you want to. It's, this is an odd angle. What, what's going on here? Why can't... You'd think I never did this before. Am I forgetting how to how to do lives? What? No. Oh well. Now just let me know if you can't see it enough. Okay. Then we're gonna do the same thing for this piece and put it right in the middle. It'll cover up that seam. Mm. Sorry, y'all. How tall is the church? He told me and I forgot. So I'm gonna tell you. Right now, it is 16 and a half inches tall, and it is, yeah, I've been gone too long, I'm telling you, and it's eight and three quarter inches wide. All right, so let's go on and do a little bit here. I didn't know, I thought wood glue was white. Is it good? Thank you, Judy. Yeah, we let you leave us. And you forget how to do stuff, I'm telling you. <laughs> I don't know how to set up my camera. What's, uh, yeah, we were hoping to meet you too, Tony. I'm sorry that didn't work out. Is something going on with the comments? Who said that? <laughs> Gwen! I, I looked up, I thought, oh, we got a stink bug. <laughs> and it was Gwen. Thing. <laughs> is that a good size, Cindy? I, I really like this size. I, it's big enough, you know, but not too, too big. Come on, glue. What's the deal? <laughs> Gwen, I still can't believe you said that, girl. <laughs> you are so funny. Oh, beautiful 75 degree weather. It's not, it's not cold here. But it's gloomy. I thought I thought we were gonna have some sunshine. <laughs> Gwen, you got me. I was about to. <laughs> Cindy, I know you probably did. Cindy, so fast she had to catch herself to not block Gwen. <laughs> I did pull. I just who said did I pull the cat? Betty, <laughs> I did. Uh, okay, come on out. Where's my Mr. T when I need him? He opened this for me because it was... <laughs> Betty, will you text Mr. T and tell him I need him? Oh, this is making me mad. He needs to get in here anyway and say, hey. Hey, Kelly. <clears throat> See, I'm getting... Mm, this is irritating. If that messes up my wood, I'm going to be so mad. Oh, Savannah. I've always wanted to go to Savannah. I got to go to Charleston and fell in love with that city. I'm originally from Mobile, Alabama, so. Uh, but I want to go to Savannah. Oh, Lord. He's going to laugh at me. He's going to make fun of me. I hear Bo coming. Thank you, Betty. I know. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. I'm just not doing so. I see I've been gone too long. 
think I've been summoned. You've been summoned. I mean, is it supposed to be clear? I thought wood glue was was not clear. I thought it was that white color, and I can't get it to come out now. I got this one together, but <laughs> let me get him in here. Cause, yeah, that's my dog coughing. I'm sorry. Can you use this paint? You can use it. <laughs> that's what it's supposed. Uh, it's just been sitting for a while. I'm sorry. Wipe that, that off. Wipe that off. Will, do, will it still stick? Because that's what I used in the middle. It'll still stick. All right. I wouldn't, you know, just put a little bit. Don't put a whole bunch. God, you're cute. <laughs> <laughs> you're cute. Get in here, y'all. Gwen, hey, Gwen almost got herself banned. We thought she was a stink bug. Are you putting this on there? Is that what you're doing? Uh-huh. Okay. Do it a little wider than that. You're so, you're so darn cute. I can't stand it. <laughs> Hello, Angela's expression. <laughs> Y'all, uh, if if you're new here, let me just say I've been gone for a week, and apparently I've forgotten how to do everything. So, <laughs> forgive me. This is not how it usually goes. Not too bad. <laughs> He can't. This is a thing. For 36 years, he has to tell me how to do everything. Or if I do it like he says, never mind. You need it a little bit wider than that. Not too wide. Dude. Dude. Say hey to everybody. You no. hadn't been on here. Say hey to everybody. Hey, everybody. Don't be impolite. Don't be rude. You stink pot. Is that, is that? It's so not near straight. <laughs> Mr. T's going to finish out the pudding together. I'll just paint. There you I'll go. I'll just paint. No, you stay in here. Is it straight? Because see, I'm not. You're about as cute as Stop a it. postcard. <laughs> when we get off here, I'm going to tell you what Gwen said that almost got her <laughs> banned. So here we go. All right, y'all. What a fiasco. Just to put three pieces of wood together. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> it's easier than you're making it. It's a lot easier than I'm making it. Did you hear him? He said that. Way easier. And, of course, we won't put the stand on the little thing in the back until until I get my act together. <laughs> until I paint this. Oh, my goodness. Okay, can y'all kind of see? Cute as, no, what he said, <laughs> Vicky, what he said was cute as a picture postcard, but he said it so fast and so Southern. That's, oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you snuck up on me. You've been gone too long, you know that? She said, she, she said, did he say you look cute as a Pop-Tart? <laughs> <laughs> I oh, said she's word. about as cute as a picture postcard. Thank you, Sharon. I got this from Chris Hunter's booth, uh, the booth, boutique. Hey, B. <laughs> At Velvet Alley. Oh, my God. <laughs> Y'all, he's ditching you this week. I got to tell you. Guess what starts? Thursday. So Time to go to the... He's headed to the cabin. To the cabin. But he's going to change his cooking nights. He'll still be cooking next week. But he's moving back to Thursday night. <laughs> yep, you're right, you Carrie. Right there. See what he's doing. We're going to do a little dry brush real quick for... Oh, that's a lot of paint, Lindy. See, I forgot how to do, I forgot how to do any of this. <laughs> you're killing me, Smalls. Tater Tot is great. Thank you, Opa. <laughs> he is doing great. Um... He was happy. I think he was happy to see his mama. I saw some of that, Pat, and said she wants him to have a cook-off with Mr. T. That would be so fun. Oh, I would love that. I got to meet Big Daddy, too. Oh, he's about as cute as he can be. Oh, thank you, Janice. You, oh, Rita. Are you in there? Gerald? I'll tell him later. He's going to be jealous. Okay, so I'm just going to start lightly dry brushing this. Um, you could do crackle paint if you wanted to. Do the crackle technique. You could, if you wanted to 
decoupage on it you could you know the sky's the limit the wood is yours with the kit i just thought i want it to look like you know an old church that may may need a paint job or i think it just gives it character yes congratulations hey joyce Hey, Sherry. Yeah, Joyce, look, I found it while I was gone. At, um, one of the vendors, our, Chris Hunter, was one of the ones who um, organized the whole event. And this is her boutique. It's called Velvet Alley. Oh, goodness. It was, so, it was hard to hold back in there. I did get two t-shirts. Two this one, I just, I knew if I didn't go on and get it, I would hate myself for it. I'd get home and be so sad. And it was the last one. Loved it. You four ladies were together. We had an awesome time. Awesome time. Hey, Patricia. Who sent stars? Diane, thank you so much for those stars. That's so sweet of you. Yeah, we, um, I just can't say enough about that trip, how fun it was. Um, I know y'all probably saw Chris and Kathy show the swag bags yesterday and all our goodies. And, um, boy, they went all out. They worked so hard for us, and uh, that costume ball, goodness, like Elizabeth said, if you get a whole bunch of creatives together and tell them, you know, dress up for a costume ball, they're going to dress up for a costume ball. They were fabulous, so many fabulous costumes. It's a Lindy t-shirt. It is, I thought. It's calling my name. They're asking price for the kit. I'm sorry. It's going to be $26, and that's free shipping. So. Oh, Regina. At one point, I almost just turned on my phone recorder just to get a snippet of how it sounded in our car going and coming. So funny. I got to uh, meet Josie from Paint Pixie, and you know Jane is she's her creative director, and we got to oh got to spend a lot of time with them and just adore them, absolutely adore those two. And um, Jane and I are going to be collaborating on some mixed media prog projects. She is an incredible mixed media artist. And so, if you don't know Jane Belante, look up Jane Belante Art. She's on YouTube and Facebook. And she just opened up her mixed media uh, class. I think it was this morning. So, anyway, I've got some new Paint Pixie stuff that we're going to use. And um, Mr. T is the cutest huggy bear. He is, isn't he? I'm telling you what. He really is. Okay, so now let me hold it up and just show you how this looks with a good dry brushing on it. Oh, that's kind of yummy, isn't it? Why does that look in the camera like? No, I covered it. Okay, that's a shadow on it. It, it is actually covered. Thank you, Cheryl, for the stars. Thank you so much. How wonderful to make such connections. Uh, you know, you when you... It, it is connections. You're absolutely right. But it almost sounds too formal for what it was. It was it, friendships. I mean, you, I thought I already knew them. You watch them. You feel like you know them and everything. And then um, you get to hang around, chit-chat. And it was just awesome. It was friendships. How much is the piece? Judy, this kit is going to be um, $26, including sh that's including shipping. And it, we're, we'll put this little stand on the back. So it'll be freestanding. You won't have to, um, like, lean it. Tarita, I'm wondering about that. I'm, I, might, I might do the sides. Let me just go on and do that in case. Just in case, we'll see what that looks like. Debbie's vehicles all over the highway. Tony, you don't even know. Oh, funny you say that. About scared Elizabeth to death. Anywhere, <laughs> I'm going to tell on her. Anywhere Debbie's eyes move, that's the way the car moves. I don't know how many times she'd get to talking. And, and you know those little bumps on the side of the road to let you know they wake you up? <laughs> <laughs> and Elizabeth would just, Elizabeth and I sat in the back seat and we're back there going, 
Debbie's a great driver. She is. She's a very good driver. We just, we were going down the road. <laughs> All right, I'm doing this side, y'all. I'm doing this side. Let's go right in here. Knock off some of that paint. What's worth every penny? The the retreat uh, and then some. Oh my goodness, yes. We're already, I'm telling y'all, start getting ready. Get a ticket next year. I mean it. If they ran their first one this incredibly well, you don't want to miss the next one. And Mr. T has already said, you're not leaving without me next year. I'm going. He saw all those other husbands there, and he immediately said, I'm going next year. And I said, yes, you are. I had already I had already told the others that I said, he's coming next year. You watch. And some I, somebody asked me, where's, where's Mr. T? Didn't he come? And I thought, oh, that's so sad. Tanya was yelling at her, I suppose. <laughs> You no, know, she really was. Tanya was the quietest one in the whole on the whole ride. It was funny. Is Debbie still here? Did I did a Debbie die get in trouble? <laughs> oh, hey Tina. Oh, I it I thank you for saying that because you know me well. I see your. We talked about that in the on the ride too. It is so embarrassing. We were all saying you get on live and you see somebody's, they come on as their, um, business page and suddenly you just go blank. And I, Oh, that's the worst. I hate it. You're a friend of Dina. So am I. I'm a friend of Dina's. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out a way and I mean it. I am seriously working on, how to get to um, Dina's in May, Dina's retreat. Kenny and Dina, oh my goodness, I adore them. And they're just neighbors in Kentucky. We're in Tennessee, so I gotta figure out a way to get there. Yeah, Debbie, I got to see some of your Bucky's video. We, I wanna go to a Bucky's. Penny does it. Well, if you're, I think y'all are just being kind to me. Mine, mine mostly doesn't work as you well know. So let me see, I'm gonna do just an arched. Y'all know I'd kind of draw it out with paint first. I've got two browns, you know, use what you wanna use, you could use stain. I'm just doing a door, a simple, simple door. No way Tanya was Tanya the quietest until she was asleep. <laughs> hey, Angela. Hey, my friend. You looked so cute last night in your kitty cat outfit, handing out candy. That's Angela from Word and Home. Maria, I was wondering if you would be here today. I met sweet Maria in person. Y'all, oh my goodness, she's so sweet. And then she showed up at the costume ball. Total steampunk amazingness. I loved her costume. And didn't find out till I got home. It was actually yesterday. I was kind of going through my craft bag from uh, the, the day and a half we crafted there. She had tucked me a little, a little happy a card and a happy and she put her picture in it for me as if I wouldn't remember her but I did and so now she can't get rid of me either we're friends all of y'all can't get rid of me oh thank you Angela it, it was so much fun so much fun we 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 had a great time I am so glad I got to go They, everybody went all out on those costumes. It was so fun. Is that a wonky door? Or is it? Are we looking okay? I mean, y'all know I'm out of practice. So apparently, I've forgotten how to do everything while I was gone. I'm just gonna kind of 
straighten this a little bit. And I'm going to decide <clears throat> later if I want to shade it or not, or leave it just like this. I'm kind of wanting, you know, since I just dry brushed it and it's rustic, I'm kind of liking the simplicity of that. You asked Tanya if I ate. <laughs> they had the best food there. Everything was so delicious. Hey, Jody. Oh, thank you, Carolyn. Okay, now, I love to paint... Um, stained glass windows you know we have a, a you'll see it if you go through i think we still got the kit in there if i'm not mistaken it's just a simple square block of wood with a point here and a wire cross on top um but i i used to sell them in the booth and i would finish them out and paint double doors on the front and then paint the stained glass windows because i love it and it's so simple Love all the pictures. You could just tell it was full of love and prayer. It was the it, the, it was almost um, I don't know. It was a almost a spiritual experience. There was so much love, friendship, all good feelings, all in that one room. It it's just amazing. It was a fun fun thing. Okay, so I'm gonna take my chalk and I, I want to give myself a little idea of where I want my windows. And there's all shapes of windows you could do. And I would do, when I would do my other churches, I would make them different. So we're gonna have our round, yeah, you can kind of see that, our round window up there. Oh, I wish those sparkle chicks would come on to Memphis. Maybe one of these days, us Memphis Bells will have a retreat here. <laughs> Family reunion without the drama. <laughs> now, on this side, I think because of the way it is shaped, I'm going to do the long rectangular uh, stained glass windows that are going to go on either side of the church door. So, I'm just, again, just eyeballing this. I don't ever want it to be too perfect. I always made mine. They, I didn't measure anything because I just wanted it to... I don't know what the word is. I, I didn't want it too perfect because the eyeball will, you know, will look at it and know it's a stained glass window. So there's my little outline for the, the windows on the side. <clears throat> Your back, Gail. Regina, would you? Maybe one of these days. Maybe one of these days we'll, we'll be able to do that. Now, I'm going to tell you, these are the colors I always choose for my stained glass windows. <clears throat> right there, uh, like an olive green, a teal, a goldish yellow, and a red. And then I'm going to put highlights of my pure gold folk art on it too. The the church, oh, thank you, thank you. Who were all the sparkle chicks? Let me see if I can name them all off. There's um, Beth Beck, there's Chris Hunter, Kathy DiDomenico, uh, Jennifer Feely, um, Dina, with Designs by Dina, and Kenny were there, um, 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 um don't let me, uh, I'm going through Terry, what's her last name, that paints so beautifully, and she was a beautiful bird at the costume ball, there's Shayna, um, frame it and contain it, y'all, don't let me, who am I forgetting? Oh, Debbie Rigg. Oh, my goodness. Oh, she's so amazing. She's so amazing. Um, Justin Krauss. He and Miss uh, Miss Jim were there. And adorable. Adorable. Did I get them all? Yeah, Justin, Debbie. Uh, got to meet Debbie's fiance. I guess there's a wedding happening soon. Um... Yeah, every single one of them was absolutely amazing. And like I said, what you see uh, when you watch them, they're even better. How do they do it? They're even better in person as people. They're just incredible. Yeah, Justin, oh, he was so funny and just so fun and loving. And oh, I adore him. I adore all of them. 
What do y'all get at Bucky's? Yeah, I said Shana from Frame It and Contain It. Am I forgetting anybody else, Maria? I think that's it. All right. So, got those four colors down. I don't want that to drip off there. And I usually, let me see what kind of brush I want to do. I think what I'm going to do, I usually on my little churches that are painted, they're primed, I'll get a paintbrush like this one. Wait, let's get that. And uh, do them, but on something like this that's rough, we're going to go with this small filbert brush and see how it works. Debbie Rigg, yeah, I said Debbie Rigg, she was there and I got to check for, Debbie, are you here? <laughs> I love you so much. I was just gushing a little bit. I had never checked before because I, I wanted to do it so bad, but I was so intimidated by it. I was so scared. And then here comes Debbie and we have that cute, cute um, stocking, which got lost. And Chris Hunter messaged me yesterday and said, guess what I found? I found your stocking. So she's um, putting it in the mail to, to me. And uh, I was so proud of myself, Debbie. You made it so easy. And um, I want to check everything. I got to show you what I found. Oh, y'all forgive me. I'm, I'm just so excited. Um, when we stopped in Russellville at that little um, antique store, this was the first thing I found. And what, Debbie, you know what I thought. And I'm like, oh, oh, golly, 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 I get to check this because I've been taught by the master. Now I just got to get brave enough to do it myself. Okay, so when I'm doing my, um, when I'm doing my stained glass windows, I don't think about it too much. Did you all present at the event uh, all of the people I just mentioned in the Sparkle uh, event did, and they were awesome. Every single one of them. Thank you, B. It turned out cute. I've got to finish it. I have got to finish. Do you have that too, Jody? Oh, we got to do it. We better make them pretty. So I don't think about this too much. I mean, I usually have that pointy brush, but I'm going to use this filbert, and I'm just going to start wiggling the brush around. Here and there. I'm going to start in the teal. Maybe over here a little bit. And can y'all see me? And we're going to do some down here. Good evening, Teresa. Hello. I missed when you mentioned I had to walk away. So sorry. Um, Debbie, I, I couldn't remember. When are you getting married? I loved getting to meet your future husband. He was so nice. And Debbie got out there and cut a rug on the dance floor. I saw the videos. Well, I was there too, but I didn't get to hang for the whole thing because <laughs> I was turning into a pumpkin. I don't, what, what did you miss, Sharon? You see, I'm not, I'm just dabbing on paint here and there. And somehow, miraculously, when we pull it all together, you're going to get the, the look of a stained glass. <clears throat> Tina, it was so, it was a pleasure to meet you. Um, I, I, we just, goodness, we had the best time, all of us. When you mentioned all the presenters, I watched Miss Jim's live. It was awesome. Felt like I was there. Oh, yeah. Isn't she adorable? Um, okay, let me see what I can do. It. There's Chris Hunter, Kathy D. Domenico, Dina. Why am I? Dina and Kenny's last name. Why is that leaving? But, but designs by Dina. Debbie Rigg. Um, Justin Krauss. Shayna from Frame It and Contain It. Um, Terry. Why can I get... Yes, he was, Rita. They are wonderful people. Beth and Randy Beck. Um, <clears throat> 
Ray, thank you, Regina. I just totally did a blank. Um, so, did, well, who did I forget that time? I got to, I saw her across the room. I got to meet um, Karen from Crowning Touch Designs. And uh, I walked over to introduce myself to tell, because we were in an event together not too long ago. And um, she blew me away with her tray that she did. And um, I walked over to her to just say, you know, I wanted to meet her. She stood up. Jennifer, my new best friend, who, yeah, Home Sweet Create, Jennifer Feely. Um, and she, Karen stood up, grabbed me up, gave me the biggest hug. Like she had, oh my goodness, she said, I'm so happy to meet you. I thought, I didn't even know she knew me. And, oh, that sweet lady. Everybody was just like that. Just like that. And, um, oh, I felt loved and accepted. And um, it was just wonderful. Wonderful. I'm still floating. Still floating. You know, I told Gerald, I said, I did not know. I'm Terry Burton, thank you. Thank you. Jane Vellante's here with your ears burning. I was talking about you earlier. This is our new wood kit. Gerald came up with it today, and we just put the three pieces of wood together. So, Debbie, thank you for those stars, you sweet thing. Thank you, Diane. Y'all are so sweet. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's that's Jane Belanti art I was telling you about earlier. We got to spend a lot of time together, and I just I loved getting to meet her in person. Yes, I was. I was, Jay. You have to go back. So we're just playing with the stained glass windows now. See, see how it's kind of starting to come together like a stained glass. Oh yeah, gotta change the clocks this weekend. Oh y'all, I don't like this time change. I really don't like it getting dark so so early. I wish we were like Arizona and just didn't, you know, just leave it alone, honestly. The one in the spring, though, I'm, like, tired for a week. I never used to do that when I was a teenager, but now I do. Do we, we have someone new? Hey, Diane, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. I hope you'll... Enjoy what we do enough here that you'll give us a follow or at least come back to see us. I'm a little overexcited today because I'm riding the high of the sparkle retreat and I'm getting to be with my friends for the first time in a, a little over a week, I think it has been. See how they're starting to look like stained glass? Woo! Wee, y'all! Look who I get to date tonight. <laughs> We're going, y'all, I said we were going to the Orpheum. We're going to see the Blue Man Group. He got all fancied up. He cleans up pretty. Hey, your church is looking good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did you whitewash it or something? I did. I whitewashed it with uh, antique. Um, I, didn't, I don't think I even told y'all that. I didn't whitewash it with antique white, not a stark white. Thank you so much. There's my friend, Created with Love by Junebug. How you doing? Oh, really, Opo? I, I hope that happens, ladies. Hurry and help Lindy fulfill her stars party. Tony, you're so sweet. It seemed like forever to me, too. I, of course, I was really busy there. But then, you know, I got home. Well, I'll tell you this. The morning... Um, we left. I had to come in here into the studio to get something. I don't remember what it was. I think it was Chris Hunter's Elvis portrait because she she uh, had the winning bid for my Elvis portrait in the auction. And um, I just stood in here for a minute. I had not never I had never stayed out of my studio that long. And I just stood in here and thought, Oh, I'm, I miss it. I miss it. I need to be back in here. And uh, so, of course, I didn't think a thing about it while I was gone and having the best time. And we they kept us busy. They kept us really busy. I'm adding a little of that pretty gold. 
I take the gold last and start to kind of fill in, and then I start to look at the windows to see, okay, where do I need what color and, how, you know, how to make it pretty. Coming right along. And um, so by the time I got home, I thought I have, I gave myself yesterday to sit on the porch, rest, because I knew all of y'all were going to be asking me if I had rested. I rested, but I spent the whole day looking at pictures that everybody was posting from the retreat. Thank you for all those hearts, y'all. Um, and uh, it, so it, it was just perfect. I, I'm, I was so, I woke up this morning and thought, oh, I get to be with my friends today. I'm so excited. So I'm just taking a little more green. I'm looking at it to see what colors I want to fill in with. I'm going to put a little more red, like right over here. On the ones that I actually, that were painted wood, that were sanded, primed, and everything that I used to do, I would even take my finger and smudge the colors together here and there, and it really makes a pretty stained glass effect. So that's something else you could do. All right, I'm... I'm I don't want to overthink this because it should just be random and uh, you don't have to think about it too much. I'm just going to dot a little here and there of the teal. And then I'm going to hold it up and we're going to see what it looks like. And then we'll finish it out. One last thing. So you see it's so simple to do, but then... It looks like stained glass. Oh, Janice, I promise you, we all missed you too. We talked about y'all like we've known you forever, um, which we feel like we have. We feel like we actually know y'all in person. Okay, I've got some of this is my the dark I use. It's espresso. I'm just gonna use that to do my outlining. And I think I might, let me pick out which outline brush I want to do. Thank you, Gloria. I appreciate that. We're just going to do this detail brush. And I'm going to roll it into a point in this espresso so you've got a real mm, fine tip. It would be clear. And, you know, you can get those little wreaths at Hobby Lobby. And put one right up here. Oh, that would be so pretty. So, you know, if you got the kit and you put it together and finish it out and want to make it a gift, you know, you could finish it out to fit whoever's decor, whomever's decor that you're making it for. And um, you could put a little removable wreath on it so they could, you know, have it for Christmas, but then leave it out all year long if they want to take the little wreath off. I'm sorry, my dog's coughing so bad today. I gave him his medicine. Well, I messed up. I must have stuck my finger in the red. And Oh, Lindy. Hold on just a minute. I am so... Out of my, I'm not doing well today, y'all. Hey, Beverly, I have had a wonderful Tuesday. I'm having an even more wonderful Tuesday now that y'all are here with me. And um, then we get to go on an actual kind of half fancy day. Do y'all know the Blue Man Group? Have you ever seen them? Mr. T has loved them for years. They're funny. Um... And they, you know, they do this weird music, and he just always loved them. I did, too, but he really loves them. And um, a while back, it hadn't been that long ago, in October, I saw that they were going to, um, they were going to be at the Orpheum. And it just kind of coincided with my birthday, and he got tickets, and he's so excited. I can't wait. Oh, that's all right, Kathy. I think I'm, thank you, Claire. You're so sweet. Oh, thank you, Beverly. Thanks, Lorianne. Um, I thought I, I thought I saw, that Petey was so glad to see you. Oh my goodness, that dog was so happy. 
they said every night he would lay in the hall, looking down the hall, waiting for me to come home. He didn't want to go to bed without me here. He frets when I'm gone. That's the reason I don't travel much, honestly. Well, not a great traveler, but yeah, I don't like leaving him. He's old now, and I'm his person, and he frets, but Mr. T and Chris took care of him, real good care of him, and um, he made it. I'm doing just a rough, you know, I'm not worrying about perfection here on the outline, but I just want to give it that finished look on the outside of the windows. I don't know why that's not wanting to paint on there. Let's see. And, of course, when it dries, I will then just wipe off the chalk marks if they show, wherever they show. But for some reason, it... It makes me happy to have those chalk marks kind of see windows. Oh, have you seen them, Lori? You've seen them a lot. You're, is that what they're called, bluebies? Oh, I can't wait to tell Gerald. We're really excited about it. All right, I'm going to do a little, little darker line around the door, too. So, if you hopped on late, this is our newest kit. It's not in the shop yet, but I'm going to get it in there tomorrow morning. I wanted to have a picture. I wanted to have a picture of it finished to put in the online shop, too, as well as you'll see. Oh, shoot. I didn't take the picture of it um, unfinished. He's going to have to make another one that I can take a picture of. It's all right. He can do it. Um, we'll get in the shop. This would make a really nice Christmas decoration or Christmas gift. And like I said, we've got, you know, we're getting ready for the holidays. It's time to get some new kits in the shop. And we have kits, uh, Christmas kits from last year. So be sure to check when you go to our online shop, see what we've got. Um, there are certain things that our sweet Elizabeth from Ellie's Attic, she is great at reimagining things. And she's taken some of our kits that I didn't even think about using for Christmas and uh, just completely redoing them and making them Christmas. So be sure to be watching her because she can. she's great at reimagining things. So tell me this. Uh, are y'all glad this will be rough wood, um, or would it have been better to have it all plain and sanded down and uh, to, to paint? Do you like this rustic look? It's just a subtle thing, but doing that little bit of dark brown right around it um, really finishes it off, I think. The Gwen, wasn't that genius? She took our witch kit and turned it into a primitive Santa Claus that was amazing. You like it rustic? Love rough wood on some projects. I do too, Cindy. This was one he asked me, so do you want do you want this? He had cut it out and told me how to, it was going to assemble and everything. And he said, now do you want me to go plane this and, and get it sanded down? I said, no, I want it just like this because I could see it whitewashed. And, um, you know, I, I, this, I wanted rustic. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad y'all like this. Yay. I guess right. Hey, Donna. Okay, we what Elizabeth calls the money shot. Maybe I can get a screenshot out of that. Every time I try to grab a screenshot, my mouth is moving or I'm looking funny. <laughs> so anyway, this is what we've got. We've got an, a, a truly Christmas kit. I'm in the Christmas event on Friday. Um, so mark your calendars. I'm going to... He... Oh, I... He, that's a fun one. I can't wait to finish that one out Friday. And uh, it'll come in a smaller size and the size I'm going to do. 
I'm so glad y'all like the rustic. So all I'm going to do, um, and I can do this off camera, of course, is just you'll get this fourth piece that you just glue right here on the back, and it's going to stand up on its own. You don't have to lean it. It'll just stand up on its own. Um, thank you, Rita. We will. How do you get to my shop? It's taterbuggin.myshopify.com. Um, I think Cindy dropped a link. She, she's probably already got it in the works. I'm not even going to try. But this will be under unfinished wood kits. We've got, I've got art classes. Be sure to look at the last year's Christmas and the year before. I think I'm now, yeah, my first uh, art class was in November of 2020. Is that right? Maybe, I think so. So yeah, look for the Christmas kits. Uh, I mean, the Christmas art classes. I've got art journaling that's continuous. I've got hand lettering that's continuous. Um, so yeah, poke around there if you're new to my shop and see what we've got. Who was it that used your witch and made a Santa? It was, it was Elizabeth Bauer from Ellie's Attic. And she's about to take some more of our kids and reimagine them. So be watching Ellie's Attic and the Memphis Bells have a collaboration. There, there we go. And our fun group, Taterbug and Sweet Taterbugs, it's free. It's for y'all. Get in the front row. We're not in the front row. We're not in the bad seats, but we're not in the front row. Yeah, please do, Darlene. Check out. This is our new, our new wood kit. So this will be tomorrow. It will be an unfinished wood kit. I will probably post when it goes into the shop, and I'll send out a telegram to let y'all know. And if you want a reminder when we're going live, um, subscribe to my telegram, our telegram channel. And thank you, Linda. Thank y'all so much. And thank you for being here today. I couldn't wait to get here and just be with y'all. So um, I'll be back my usual time Thursday at 4 and then again on Friday in the, excuse me, the event that I, I posted this afternoon. It's going to be fun. I'm getting in as many. Yes, Jane is now, whether she wanted to be or not, we told her she's an honorary Memphis Belle. So left an update on, oh, okay. Yeah, I got to, yes. They may ask you if you want to get in the front row. What? Oh, Lori. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll ask. They'll probably spit paint on me or something, and I don't care. Oh, except for my shirt, and I've got them. I'm going to have my new sweater on. Am I going to get dirty? Is it going to ruin my clothes? Tell me that. Play the lighters for you. I hope they do. I'm so glad. So I have Everybody I've told, we're going to see Blue Man Group. They're like, what is that? I'm like, oh, come on. See, y'all know. Okay. I'll go. I don't want to go, but I'm going to go, and um, I'll see you a bunch more this week. Thank you, Tina. Thank you so much for that. When I get on my personal... Okay, great, great, great. Yeah, they won't let you join. Um, I've noticed that. I'll forget I'm tater bugging and try to join a group. It's like, no. Oh, i got to tell you one more thing. This was in our swag bags. These are called Freshies. This is a young um, stay-at-home mom. It's her um, little business. I say little. It's not going to be for long. Um, she volunteered to put freshies in every one of our VIP, and I don't know. They may have been in all of the swag bags. I don't know. Y'all, I got apple butterscotch. Oh, my word. These things smell amazing. She has a, not a page, but a group. It's called AKL Freshies. Just search for AKL Freshies on um, Facebook and it'll show up as a group. Just ask to join. It's free. Um, these are going to make, they're very um, inexpensive, I've heard. I have not gone over there. I'm, I've joined the group. Thank y'all for the birthday wishes. Um, these will make great Christmas gifts. Great Christmas gifts. Thank you, Betty. Yes. Thank y'all so much for the birthday wishes. Y'all are so sweet. I appreciate it. 
I w one of the first texts I got this morning was Brother Tater Buggin saying, it's not your birthday yet. I laughed so hard because he sent me a happy birthday yesterday. And then before I could answer him, he said, no, I mean tomorrow. And I just bust out laughing and said, give me my day and a half before I have to be a year older, please, sir. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go. I will see y'all on Thursday. Truly love you all. Come back and see me if you're new. Bye.